Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. In today's episode, I'm talking about why gratitude actually reduces anxiety. We talk here on the Anxiety Coaches Podcast a lot about gratitude. It's mentioned in many episodes, and there are full episodes about gratitude and how to practice gratitude, how to bring more of it into your life. But today I thought we would look at it as to why the gratitude helps to reduce your anxiety. Life is a full spectrum of things that we want and of things that we don't want. The ups and downs are also not predictable, and this can at times throw us off keel enough to be feeling anxiety, depression, and or physical health issues. And year after year, we seem to move faster and faster at a pace that leaves us less time to be dedicated to reflecting and seeing the good and the joy that we do have in our life and actually stopping to be thankful for it. Or as the old saying goes, stop and take some time to smell the roses. Gratitude is not fluffy. It is a very powerful emotion. And the research suggests that by practicing gratitude, we can reduce anxiety. Now, people feel and express gratitude in multiple ways. They can apply it to the past, they can apply it to the present, or they can apply it to the future. Now, what does that look like? Well, if we're applying our gratitude to the past, we're retrieving positive memories and we're being thankful for the elements of our childhood or past blessings. And if we are looking at expressing our gratitude in the present, We're doing things like not taking our good fortune for granted or actually stopping and smelling the roses and finding the simple beauties in life. And if we are applying it to the future, we are maintaining a hopeful and optimistic attitude. So hope comes into play here. Regardless of the inherent or current level of our gratitude, It's a quality that we can all successfully cultivate further. So this is really one of the key elements of working on your anxiety is being in a mode of using your energy for the things that you can control. And it sounds like here you can control whether you're being grateful or not. This is an attitude that you can cultivate. If you don't have a lot of it right now, you can work on it and have more in the future. In positive psychology research, gratitude is strongly and consistently associated with greater happiness. Gratitude helps people feel more positive emotions, relish good experiences, improve their health, deal with adversity, and build strong relationships. This is what the research is showing. And not only showing it like it happened once or twice, it is strongly and consistently associated with greater happiness. And for us to be able to feel more positive emotions, isn't that what we're all looking for? to be able to feel more positive emotions, to get through our day without having to have so much negativity either hanging over us or that we're dragging along, to actually be able to relish the good experiences that do happen to us. Like I said earlier, we're going at such a pace these days that we don't even stop 
and relish these good experiences, to actually let that joy seep into us, to integrate it into our lives. Those of us with anxiety are very quick to integrate and spend a lot of time thinking about all of the troubles that may happen in the future, that we are squeezing out the attention that's required for us to really relish these good experiences. So obviously, if we start relishing good experiences and spending more time in joy and gratitude, we will have less energy and attention that can be spent on those negative future thoughts. It can improve our health. We all want to be in tip-top health as best we can. And if gratitude can help get you there, I think this is a no-brainer. And it can help you to deal with adversity. This is important. As many people with anxiety are really feeling as if they can't deal with the negative things, the adversity that may be coming their way. That's actually a fear that many people have. I can't handle it. I won't be able to handle it. I know I can't do it. All about the things in the future. Well, the more gratitude you bring in your life, the better you will be able to deal with adversity. And it will help you to build strong relationships, something that we are all working on. So why is it that this gratitude that can do all of these great things, bring so much more joy and positive emotions into our life, how does it happen? Well, scientists conducted a study. I'll link the study in the show notes. This was in 2008 to measure the brain activity of people thinking and feeling gratitude. And what they found was, and I will quote from the study, that gratitude causes synchronized activation in multiple brain regions and lights up part of the brain's reward pathways and the hypothalamus. In short, gratitude can boost the neurotransmitter serotonin and activate the brain stem to produce dopamine. End of the quote. Now, this dopamine piece is very interesting to me and it is super important to us because dopamine is our brain's pleasure chemical. The more we think positive, grateful thoughts, the healthier and happier we feel. And suppose you've been living with chronic stress and anxiety. Think about Many of you have been already. I was there. And in that case, you've been actually doing the opposite. You have been thinking negatively, negative thoughts with no particular focus on gratitude. And this will leave us to feel less happy and less healthy than we could be. And this is all within our control. This is something we can do something about. Have you thought about it? We cannot change so many things in life. We have absolutely no influence over many things that cause us anxiety that we're reading in the news or hearing from our neighbors. We can do nothing about those things, but we actually can work on our gratitude. And as the scientists saw that the brain regions that were lighting up were things that could cause you to feel better, to have more of the brain's pleasure chemicals. Thanks to the flexibility or the plasticity of the brain, gratitude and positive thinking can become a way of life. When your brain is flushed with positive thoughts, you leave very little room for the anxious cycle to take hold. You leave yourself space to choose your actions versus having anxious reactions. And you can expect to improve every area of your life, including your relationships, health, your dreams and goals, and more. We have covered ways to add gratitude and gratitude practices to your life on other episodes. And I invite you to check them out for how to add this tonic, as I'm calling it. Gratitude feels like a tonic to me. 
and how you can add this tonic to your life today. Episode 779 is Appreciation and Gratitude Pave the Way to Peace and Calm. That would be a great one to check out. And Episode 560, that is a recipe for gratefulness. And I'm hoping that you would check those out so that you could begin to find ways to bring this gratitude into your life into the way that you are looking at your day, looking at your memories, and looking at your future. This future piece is so important. To think that we can feel better today because of the way we're thinking about the future is really, really good medicine. This truly is a tonic. We can feel better today by the lens that we are looking at the future. And I know those of you listening, you're not consciously, willfully thinking about the future in negative ways or through dark glasses. But we can begin to change the way we are thinking about the future when we notice it, when we have the mindfulness to do it. That requires us to be aware of what we're thinking. And as you know, one of the best ways to be practiced in what you are thinking is to spend some time quietly on the meditation cushion, as a saying, and looking at your mind, being with it, and seeing where it goes, and catching it. You don't catch it and beat yourself up, but you catch it. You catch the thought, oh, I'm worrying about X, Y, Z. When you catch that, you can just notice it and let it keep on going. You don't have to become friends with it and open it up, explore it. No, just notice that it's there. Let another thought come. Or when you, since you're aware of what you're thinking, You could maybe put a smile on your face and see if you can't think of a gratitude. It might be a great place for you to notice what's coming. And you don't have to make an effort to no canceling it or exploring it, where it came from. No need. Just notice it. A negative thought came about the future. I'm seeing a worry about the future. And then maybe you can have a thought about the future with gratitude, one with faith, one with optimism. And then another thought comes. They just come. They come all day, every day. So let them come, notice them. And the place that you get to really practice and see it clearly what's going on is when you are sitting quietly, alone, on your, quote, meditation cushion, and paying attention. Paying attention as if it mattered, because it really does matter. If you just let your thoughts go without knowing what you're thinking, they will tend to go toward the negative. It's just the way we're built. We have to put the effort in to have optimistic or hopeful thinking. And it doesn't have to be big and broad and rainbows and unicorns type of thinking, but it can just be one of possibility. Because as much as the negative could be possible, so could the positive be possible. And we can put that out there ourselves. This is something we can pay attention to. And the more that we are grateful for the moments we are in, in the present moment, what a blessing. So many little things in our life are. Just acknowledge them. Again, you don't have to spend a lot of time with this. This you don't even need to sit in quiet and do. You can just be grateful. I mean, be grateful that your car started. It's awesome. You'd certainly be very unhappy if your car didn't start, right? These little things that we just gloss over our whole lives leave a lot of space for Just any kind of thinking to pop in. And as a human, any kind of thinking is always going to lean 
toward the negative. It is how we are built with this negative bias for survival. So use your everyday moments, your present moment thinking, and be grateful for the little things in your day. Now, before I let you go, here are a few easy ways without you going to another show, although I hope you will look up the gratitude shows if you are interested in more. But here are a few easy ways to add some gratitude practice into your life today. And of course, the number one would be to write in a gratitude journal. We have whole episodes on that, I believe. You could also listen daily to positive affirmations. I also have done episodes in the past on affirmations. And if you want to listen to those again, or if you want to write your own and recite them or write them, it's a beautiful way to be able to start your day or to be able to refresh the day if it has been going in a not positive direction for you. Practice meditation and stillness. Just even in small moments, if you feel that 10 minutes is too much, do five minutes. If five minutes is too much, look out the window for one minute and time yourself. Let yourself just be in stillness for one minute. And another way is to give gratitude to other people. To thank people. Thank the person at the post office for giving you your stamps. Like, be grateful. Thank the clerk at the grocery store. Thank people on the phone. If you ever get a real person again, thank them for being there, for helping you. This is nice for them. They probably appreciate it. But it is so important for you. Practice giving gratitude to others. And on that note, I am grateful for you. I am grateful that I got to spend time here with you today. And I appreciate you listening to the show and for sharing it with others that need it. Thank you. And now for today's quote. It is through gratitude for the present moment that the spiritual dimension of life opens up. And that's from Eckhart Tolle. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at theanxietycoachespodcast.com. 